What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the Chop Shop Update. In this video, we'll be customizing the brand new Dominator GT. So, Rockstar just straight up just called it the Dominator GT, like Mustang GT. I guess they don't care anymore. <laughs> so, $2.2 million Mustang. Now, sadly, this is only available in convertible, and there's no, like, coupe roof conversion upgrade or nothing. So, that's that's pretty annoying that they did that. Now we do have the Dominator GTX, which I think is on Legendary Motorsport, or is it on this one? I can't remember. Oh, here it is. So you have the Dominator GTX, that was like the, the you know the normal coupe variant, but that one was mixed with the Mustang GTT and some like Camaro ZL1 front end and the Charger kind of tail lights. Just a weird modern Mustang. No one, I mean, it was cool, but no one really like loved it. It was always that weird Frankenstein looking typical GTA Mustang. Never really was too much of a fan of it, especially with the slow handling flags that it has and all that and the low top speed. So we finally have a newer, proper, modern Mustang, but Rockstar is like, you know what? Let's only give him a convertible variant. Really, bro? <laughs> Rockstar, come on, man. If you're going to do that, they should have at least given us both, right? I, I, I don't, no, I mean, when I see a convertible muscle car, like a Mustang or a Camaro, all I think is rental car. I'm just not a fan personally, but anyways, here it is. And they also gave us a convertible variant of the Vigero ZX, so that's that's new as well. And they decided to call it convertible, even though pretty much every convertible car in this game they call Cabrio, so that's interesting. And this is just called Dominator GT by itself, not Dominator GT convertible. Rockstar, you're weird, man. You, you, the names of these cars, just whatever. All right, so here it is. I mean, it looks good, especially the back end, the little antenna. And then look at this, how funny. GT, right in the middle, just like the real car. Oh, my God. They, they don't care anymore. Straight up just copied. And the tail lights with a little, like, the way the, the top of the tail lights kind of curve and stuff. They didn't curve at the bottom. Actually, yeah, it does curve at the bottom a little bit. Very similar to the real one. Crazy absolutely crazy so for those of you who don't know what it's based on even though it's pretty obvious it's based on the s550 ford mustang gt specifically the uh 2018 to 2023 refreshed model where they changed the uh headlights the front end the tail lights a bit um and then of course this one being a convertible so it's based on the s550 refresh gt convertible <laughs> so that's what it's based on there um, all right let's go ahead and check out the customization here this thing does not offer hsw or money tech so it's a normal car what are we doing today muscle car class as it should be Anything okay armor do? brakes bumpers why would you want a secondary the bumper okay twin wedges that's really weird looking What's that gap from the front end there? That is terrible, man. I don't like that. Okay. And then this looks okay. Looks kind of out of place. Making decisions that, that's it? Really? Just two different bumpers, basically. And then different color variations between them. But it's just... Oh, and then this one has the... Why would you put canards below the headlights? I mean, I guess... Just don't like the way they did that. That's weird. Bro. <laughs> this option's garbage. I, I don't look at that gap. That's I mean you can you can put a couple books in between <laughs> between that gap. <laughs> That's terrible. Um and then this I don't like the reinforcement bracket. It just looks weird to me. Well, I'm keeping that stock. Sorry. Next <laughs> we got the rear bumper. So Primary. What's the difference between sports and the exhaust smoke? Is let me get rid of that. So, secondary. Oh, it has a little diffuser. Okay, so sports bumper with a little diffuser. And then this is just a bigger diffuser. Oh, and it adds these side, like, I don't even know what you'd call that. Wind deflectors? I don't know. That is <laughs> okay. And then that, that. Like rear, rear, rear canards. That's just okay. The strangest customization for sure. I guess I'll go with the 
primary sports bumper. Okay. Engine max out exhaust. You got stock titanium, which is interesting. I think it come with stock chrome. But here you have that option, thankfully. Then you have round. It's like a more normal looking. Okay. And chrome round. It's chrome, but it still has titanium tips. Okay. Ill. And worse. Okay. Uh. Why are the exhausts like so far tucked in? I feel like it should come out a bit more. Even though I think that's the diffuser kind of giving the illusion there. Um, okay, we'll do chrome there. Fenders. Why would you want to color? Okay, if you want to do that, I guess. Grill. Primary stock grill. Secondary. Plastic. Ah, lower plate cover. Okay. Do they have one that deletes that? Yes! Yes, yes, yes. So this looks more realistic to the real one. The plastic GT grill. That's nice. Man, that looks ten times better than that ugly grill. Okay, except with the lines and the color. It looks like teeth or something. That's terrible. You got the plastic. Okay, no. Yeah, definitely this one right here. The plastic GT grill. Is there carbon? No carbon. That's fine. I will take the plastic over... Anything. Okay, plastic GT grill. Very nice. Hood. Carbon. We got smooth hood. Okay. We want more like a simple look. Got a hood scoop with hood pins. We got the vented hood. The street hood. We got a cow induction raised hood. Primary GT hood. I think this is straight over from the GTX. GTX has this hood option. Okay, kind of like a Super Snake Mustang style, like the older one. What the heck is this? It's got a vanity hood with the vents and stuff. I'm surprised they didn't do any like like a GT500 style hood or... I mean, I guess this one would be kind of similar, but it has the force. Why don't they separate the hood pins? That's kind of annoying. What if you don't want these bright blue hood pins on your car, but you want this hood? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. Um, hmm. And I think the hood pins won't let us open the hood, right? That's usually an issue with these cars, and I want to be able to show the engine bay later in the video. Wait, will none of these options let you open the hood? That's actually hilarious. I guess we'll test it. Let's apply this one and we'll see. If anything, I can just change it. Looking good. I, those blue hood pins are an eyesore. Lights, xenon, liveries. Oh, okay, there's liveries. Black stripes. Red. Oh, okay, black with red pinstripe. Black with black side stripe. Muscle racing. Street racing. That's, that's pretty cool. Except that it adds these weird location stripes. and Just random. Why is it there on the side like no that? The bottom one doesn't look bad, but this one on the rear quarter, that looks weird. A white version of that. But then it doesn't have... What? Then it doesn't have the... Oh, it's a different style. Okay. Solid track. It's like a... Okay. Vapid graphics. Oh, kind of like a... That's supposed to be like a Mach 1 reference, kind of? I don't know. That looks weird. Ron Racing, like a Golf. Style livery splatter. Oh, okay. I mean, traditional stripes. I guess I think I'm probably gonna go with that. There's no traditional white though. They didn't do white racing stripes. That should have been an option. But there is here, but it forces the sides. What if you don't want the side stripe? <laughs> uh, do you need a drink? Bubbles? That's kind of annoying. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go with the black stripes. I kind of want the white though. I want like a white. I want like a blue and white. I'll do that. Um, mirrors, secondary, or carbon. I want the carbon. Mud guards. I don't know why you put that, but okay. Plates. Like I talked about earlier, the plates category is broken in the custom plates. If you go to like the second page, some plates are a little broken. But we do have the new vanity plates. Oh, look at that. My generic plate, is, the last three is 007. <laughs> That's funny. Um, 
I, I do like this E. cola plate a lot. The, the Sprunk one's a bit of an eyesore because it's like bright lime green, but this this one just looks so good. The red with a white lettering, I, I, I like that a lot. All right, color. I'm gonna go with a nice metallic blue. I'm thinking, let's see here. Thinking, uh, I think racing blue. And then for pearlescence, I think a gasoline green would really set it off. Oh, I should have gone the other way. Let me see here, gasoline green. Ooh, yeah, look at that. It's like a bluish, greenish kind of uh, metallic flake to it. I like that a lot. Secondary is going to be, I guess, any secondary options we choose. Nothing in the interior. Uh, what's it default to now? Black. I guess any secondary options you choose. Okay, let's paint it a bright color to see if we notice anything later. Let's just do like, uh, I don't know, we'll do, I mean, I think the engine bay is already forced in red. We kind of saw it briefly in the vanity hood option. So you know what, let's do, let's just do yellow to see if we spot anything. I'll change it later. Crumblum goes on the doors, okay. Spoiler upgrade, ducktail, very nice, nice too. Ooh, this is like a GC350R style spoiler. That's sick. 350R style spoiler, okay. Ah, then you got like the optional like GT style wing from this uh, refresh model from the real one. That makes it even closer to the real. This back end with that spoiler, that looks <laughs> very, very close. Ah, this is kind of like a, I mean, sort of, kind of similar. Maybe a reference to like the GT500 track pack wing. That kind of, that, that makes me wonder, why didn't they give us a GT500 instead? Or the new Dark Horse, or the new GTD? The GT500 would have been sick, man. They should have done that. Anyways, um, larger spoilers here. Those, yeah. Alright, I think I'm gonna go, I like this one a lot. The This one, this is sick. I like this. Pro do primary Your sports spoiler. Point. Even though, how does it look in carbon? Hmm. Doesn't look bad. Uh, yeah, I think it needs the contrast, to be honest. All right, we'll do the carbon. Oh, it's plastic. There's no carbon. Bro, really? <laughs> I mean, it's still black. I mean, you really can't tell from far away. It's fine. That's fine. We'll do that. Suspension. This thing definitely... The stock right height of this thing is atrocious. It definitely needs to be lowered all the way. It looks ten times better. Transmission. Trunk. Oh. Secondary options there. Turbo. Vents. Ah, you can remove that vent. I think it looks a lot better without that. I've never been a fan of like those aftermarket tacky side vents. I mean, I get it's a it's a reference to like the older Mustangs, but I'm just not a fan personally. Yeah, I'm gonna remove that. Looks a lot better like that. Wheels. Um, the stock wheels are really nice in this car, but I do want something a bit different. What of a street category? I think they're in here. Or like the. The, the 2014 GT500 style wheels and the RTR Mustang wheels are pretty close to these these right here the modern mesh that looks so good on this car and in black oh yeah very nice very very nice love it uh, windows black amounts and that's all the options there all right exit to ground not bad it looks good I just man it, it needed to be a coupe not a convertible but, since it is a convertible, let's bring the top down, hold right on the D-pad, and... It just sinks into there. Bruh. It just sinks into the back carpet. Oh. <laughs> uh, Rockstar, okay. And then the interior, okay, reused from a bunch of different sports cars and stuff. Door panels are... Eh, yeah, well, okay. Same exhaust note from, like, pretty much every Mustang based car in the game which I mean there's nothing wrong with it it's a good exhaust note turn the lights there sounds good drive smooth so far wow very very responsive handling reminds me of, like the Omagio you know that initial steering input it's it's like very precise very very quick steering inputs this, this thing is very responsive 
Like, little to no dead zone. That's nice. I'm surprised they didn't give us the S650, though, you know, the newer one. Like, it's just weird how they gave us the S550. Who knows, may maybe they had designed this for GTA 6, and then, you know, the game's taken so long that literally a new Mustang generation came out. So they were like, oh, let's just give them this in 5, and then we'll just add in the, uh, the newer one into 6 instead. Who knows, even though there's a lot of reused older cars that we saw in the trailer anyway, but just a theory. Uh, first person here doesn't look terrible. Oh! <sighs> they, they modeled the... My character isn't holding the steering wheel. He's just... <sighs> Rockstar. That's fantastic. Look at that. He's, he's holding... The steering wheel is supposed to be higher, or the hands are supposed to be placed lower. Did they even bother checking any of these? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no, but he, come on, man! How do you miss that? How do you miss that? That's terrible. That's terrible. Well then, I mean, it handles nice. Straight line speed seems to be kind of like eh. Yeah, straight line speed—it's like kind of normal, I think. Kind of like normal. The handling's nice though. I think it's basically like a newer. Um, a newer, at least from what it feels like to me, you know, a, a GTX without handling flags and a, a bit higher top speed and force convertible for some reason. That's kind of what it feels like to me, but alright, let's pull over here and open all the doors and stuff. Oh, let's see if that hood opens. I'm probably going to have to go run to the customs if it, <laughs> if it doesn't open and put the stock hood back or one of the other hoods that doesn't have the hood pins. Uh, manage vehicles. Then we go to vehicle preferences. And then doors all. Let's see. And yep, exactly what I said would happen happened. Okay, let me go change the hood really quick and I'll come back here. All right, I put on the stock hood because I think it looks best compared to the other ones that didn't have hood pins. So went with that there. Now we can see the engine model. Go back here to uh, no vehicles. Manage vehicles. Still getting used to this. I'm so used to going to the same place for like, you know, 10 years that <laughs> it's a bit, uh, okay. So there's, oh, the hood like doesn't, oops, I'm punching air. The, that's how upset I am about this car. Uh, <laughs> the hood doesn't open all the way. It opens like right there. Okay. There's the engine model. This is similar to like the one from the, the Vigero ZX, I think, but just with a different plastic cover on top. It's just like a reused, okay, the cold air intake thing there. That intake placement is terrible. In real life, that's not where you want it. That's right next to your headers. That's a hot air intake. That's <laughs> that's bad, but it got a strut brace force there. Okay, eh, it's, it's all right. The fact that it's force convertible though is just so annoying. I They should have given us the, the coupe variant as well. If you buy this, I would definitely keep the top down all the time. With the top up, it just looks terrible, at least to me. Um, so, yeah, we'll do none there. From the top, I guess we'll just show them. Let's just show the mechanism going up here. It just comes out of nowhere. Just sinks into there. That's really nice. That's wonderful. Ah, Rockstar. Well, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you're going to buy this thing. Um, I don't know. The customization was kind of eh. It wasn't all that. Um, and it's force convertible. It's based on the refresh S550, which was very controversial when it came out in real life. I personally prefer the pre-refresh. Um, I don't know. They could have done better. GT500 or GTD or Dark Horse. But instead, we got this. So I think my theory is probably correct. I mean, it, it, just random, you know, to add in a 2018 refresh Mustang doesn't really make much sense. But anyways, again, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.